welcome my ninjas of milk to another milk and the most out of and this is the first one for a warframe we're going to be starting with volt who is my favorite of the starting warframes now all the starting warframes have very balanced abilities in terms of damage dealing defense crowd control even team buffing abilities but volt is just the most fun and feels the most adaptable to almost any mission type besides stealth he's a great member of a makeup for almost any team. However, Bolt is incredible at solo play as well. So I'm doing the Eximus Stronghold second sortie here with a solo Bolt in my capacitance build. Now, Bolt's discharge, his ultimate, does not get a lot of credit, but the hard CC opportunities this provides are incredible. There's nothing better than making the enemy sit still and do nothing and Discharge does that really well. You'll also notice that Overshield of 1600 up there, Capacitance, Discharge's Augment, can be an incredible tool for keeping yourself alive in some pretty dicey situations. I know it, you know, Shields won't take you way too far, but this is the second sortie in the game, and this is something that will apply to your whole team. So it's a great little buffer for your team and for yourself. Now with Discharge, you want to be increasing both your power range, which will affect not only the power range from Bolt, but the power range of the electricity arcing from the enemies. So the power can arc between enemies, and the more gathered up they are, the more enemies you can affect with this hard CC. So that can work against you because Discharge does have a cap on the amount of damage you can apply before it releases the enemies from that hard CC, regardless of your duration. So. So if you're just looking to run fast, I have a standard speed build there that'll let you attack fast and reload fast and run fast, most importantly. But if you are looking to do something with your ultimate, here is the capacitance build, which uses the augment, which gives you overshields for the damage dealt. Now, with discharge, you want to have a moderate amount of range, a great amount of duration, and if you're using capacitance, you also want to have a little bit of strength. So it gets pretty difficult to balance all those things, still get the most out of the CC, still get the most out of the overshields. I've got on speed drift and cutting drift. Any of those bonuses on those drifts are good things to slot in. So you could have maglev, you could have stretch, you could have rush, you could have natural talent. Any of those are good mods to fit in here. This is not a be all end all capacitance build. This is just how I kind of tried to reach that balance between power strength, power duration, and power range. So find what works for you. Use a little bit of survivability too. I've got prime flow and quick thinking in there. In my case, redirection is actually a really good choice on Volt, especially if you're going with overshield to shield based build. Prime flow and quick thinking are also very good because he's got a great energy pool and quick thinking will give you that energy pool to leverage as health in emergency situations. You also have the option of using arcane helmets or arcanes in your helmet and sandana. Now, I like to use the arcane storm helmet a lot. It gives you power strength at the cost of aim glide and wall latch, but there's also the arcane pulse helmet, which gives you duration at the cost of a little bit of shield. Now, either power strength or duration, whatever you need to fit in, both those arcane helmets are great if you have them or have access to them, but they're gone. If you don't have those, can't get them, arcane energize would be great, I'm guessing, for the arcane. For focus schools, if you're DPS focused and you want to be using your gun, I would say Matter Eye would be a great one using that shield, which gives you 200% critical damage, so an extra double critical damage and it adds lightning damage to your weapons. That can be a great way. Also, Xenoric is a great option. It lets you spam your powers to your heart's content with that energy overflow. And it's a great option for any duration power-based frame. Same for Energy Siphon. Shadow Step, Naramon, a great option for any melee-focused frame. And Volt can do all those things. He can support the team, he can buff the team, he can heal the team, he can do DPS with both guns and melee fantastic fantastic frame and there's no right way to build bolt but this is my favorite way using the shocking speed augment which allows you to get guaranteed electrical procs on any enemies near you as you sprint around and that applies to your team as well while you're under that speed effect and this build balances 
All of the features of the Warframe, but especially power duration and efficiency are the major focus so that you always have your abilities up and you always have the ability to cast your abilities in those downtime moments. This build can work well with speed, electric shield, and discharge. It excels at all the things Volt can do, which is basically everything except stealth. Of course, with the Naramon Focus School, you can even get a little bit of that in there. Now, none of my builds are focused on using the electric shield, but that is a very good power. It never breaks. It's only going to disappear based on duration or a nullifier bubble. And though you can increase the double critical damage it deals, you can increase the electric damage it deals, and you can deploy six of those at a time, and that electric damage stacks as you shoot through up to six shields. The critical damage does not stack, however. So that's a very powerful ability as well. I don't really use it too much, but it's something that can be built for. So these are my favorite ways to build for the shocking speed and discharge augment capacitance. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you try these builds out. There's no right way to build Bolt, like I said, and definitely try customizing this the way you like but definitely a sort of underrated frame this is a lot more than a sonic the hedgehog frame and it can do it all and it can do it all really well no matter whether you like to use guns knives support your team play a defensive role buff your team heal your team even like i said bolt's a fantastic frame for doing it all and you can get them from the very start of the game so definitely my pick for starter frame and a lot of ways to build them, but these are my favorite, particularly that shocking speed augment build that lets you just kind of run into crowds, apply hard CC to everything near you, and just go to town, especially with a melee weapon, my favorite way to play. If you're more of a gun gunslinger, shield is probably going to do you a lot better than running around with the speed and shocking speed augment. But that's the beauty of ult. So thank you for sticking to the end. I definitely didn't say everything there is to be said about Bolt. Check the wiki, check other bids if you are still curious. But I hope I have helped some of y'all, and I hope you stay milky. I hope you're looking forward to more Warframe Souls and other content.